Do you have a photography bucket list? A list with things you want to photograph? I created my own list in the last year and today I want to tick off one of those things. And one image I dream of for many years is the castle Neuschwanstein, the famous German castle in winter with snow and a nice maybe pinkish sky. If I can get the shot, you see in this video. The real challenge of photographing Neuschwanstein Castle in winter is that you actually need winter. And even though we are close to the Alps, it does not mean that it snows every day in winter. And there were years where there was not much snow, so it was pretty hard to photograph Neuschwanstein in snow. But this year there are tons of snow and a lot of people are actually quite sick of the whole snow because it's snowing, then it's melting again, then it's snowing strong again, then it's melting again. And that actually is the issue of photographing as well, because we need the exact right moment where we have enough snow that that the castle is covered in snow, that we have snow on the trees and everything, but we need good weather as well, some sunshine maybe, some clouds, but not a total cloudy day, not a rainy day, not a snowy day, because I want, when I imagine the image, I want to take some nice snowy castle, some nice snowy trees and some amazing colors in the background. And to get that together, it's pretty, pretty tough. I decided the evening ago, tomorrow is the day we shoot, so we had to drive from the Black Forest here to Neuschwanstein Castle and it took us around four to five hours, so I started at 1 a.m. to drive here and we arrived here one hour before sunrise. To get to the castle you need to walk for around 30 to 45 minutes up, a, yeah let's call it a steep hill. That thing is huge, it looks pretty modern. <sighs> Marienbrücke, that's where I want to go. 45 minutes of walking, I can tell you, is pretty tough when it goes upstairs and when it's minus 12 degrees Celsius. So this is the way, or at least that should be the way, because there's the castle, but it's closed. The way is closed. I don't hope that the bridge is closed. But then we said, okay, let's not stop now. We drove for a long time. Maybe it's just the path that is closed and the bridge may be open. So let's try to get a different way. And we checked on Google Maps a different way and a different track. So we walked a different track. We found another way and there's actually a pretty nice viewing spot, not only on Neuschwanstein Castle, which is there, only maybe 300 meters away, but the perspective is not the best. Also, there's a very bright light, which I think is not the best to photograph later, but an amazing other castle is here in the background. And it does not get quite the attention like Neuschwanstein Castle, but it's also great to photograph. The castle is called Hohenschwangau and next to it is actually a lake, but it's totally frozen, so you can't see it. But all the orange and yellow colors with a nice castle, it's pretty amazing scenery. And also the sky is changing color, so I have to hurry up a bit because I think sunrise is coming and I need to get to that damned bridge. And then we arrived at the bridge and the bridge was closed. <laughs> this fence is standing between me and the bridge. The bridge why I traveled for five hours here, walked 45 minutes up the hill, went to the first fence, went around the first fence to another track to get up here to see if the bridge is open or not, and the bridge is closed. Damn it. I could now jump over the fence and go through the deep snow, which is something, yeah, till the knee, and then it goes down for 200 meters, but yeah, that for me is not worth it. The shot. Somebody did it there, but no, I won't do it. I have to find something else. So we had to think about an alternative. And let's say we were a bit lucky.
Look at this amazing view. Neuschwanstein Castle in snow, nice sky, everything nailed. But it was a hell of a ride to get that shot. And where I am right now, I can't tell you. But I can tell you that, let's say, the photo god guided me with some nice magical path to that direction here and to that viewing point and yeah now I'm able to capture the shot quick disclaimer I know what I do I do this for many years don't go close to edges if you are at some high viewing point without a fence or anything don't go close to the edge check everything before and stay maybe one or two meters away from the edge that's what I do I stand one and a half meters away from the edge and here I'm totally safe don't take your life to a risk only for a photo Tell me the settings, dude. I'm here on f8, 1 25th of a second, ISO 100, and I'm on 16 millimeter full frame, so very wide angled. And the rest of the settings are not that important, only the aperture, maybe because it's a bit closed, that I get more sharpness in the image and that I get a good image quality. I don't use any filter here, I just use the framing and the colors and the scenery and everything, and that makes the image beautiful. What a lot of people don't know about the castle is that it's not medieval. It was built around 150 years ago, so not that old, but still beautiful. And did you know that there are rumors that Walt Disney said that castle is the inspiration for the whole Disney castle? And when you look closely at the white castle, especially in snow, you can see why he was inspired. That's a pretty cool perspective as well. I'm glad that I have my long focal length with me. And this is actually the spot where my car is parking. Where I parked in the morning, I didn't see anything because it was dark. Now it's 9.30 a.m. and it's getting super crowded. All the buses are coming in. There's actually one bus coming and we have to watch out that he's not hitting the videographer but he's not hitting the videographer <laughs> that's good yeah so it's super crowded a lot of people coming in you have uh, the horses going around and yeah millions of people climbing up now or walking up to the castle and actually a lot of things are closed so that's a bit disappointing so you can't take the iconic outdoor shot because the bridge where you usually take it from is closed and i think that's very disappointing for a lot of people that walk up there and don't know it yet but yeah so i would give i want to give a rating to all of my photography bucket list points and if i should give a rating to neuschwanstein castle in snow in winter i would give six out of ten why six out of ten it's beautiful it's an amazing castle, it looks very iconic and it's very cool, that's why a lot of people are here. But in winter a lot of things are closed and you don't have that many perspectives to photograph the castle beautifully. Also, there's a lot of renovation going on and yeah, for me it's not that super cool to or super exciting to take the image. But still, it's a great spot, it's worth the visit if you are in Germany, but I would give 6 out of 10. And I tick now that point off my photography bucket list. <music>